The Queen's coffin left Balmoral at around 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. The coffin was covered by the Royal Standard and a beautiful wreath of flowers as it left the Aberdeenshire Estates gates. It began its journey to the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh, via Aberdeen, Dundee and Perth. It passed through Ballater, the closest town to Balmoral Castle, where hundreds of mourners gathered to watch the hearse. On Tuesday, the coffin will then be flown to London, accompanied by Princess Anne, Buckingham Palace said. Once in the capital, the Queen's body will lie in state until her funeral on Monday, September 19. After the service, a hearse will transport the Queen to Windsor. She will be laid to rest at St. George's Chapel, Windsor, where Prince Philip is buried. The late Duke of Edinburgh's funeral service was held at the church on Windsor Castle's grounds, as was Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding in 2018. The Queen will be buried in the King George VI Memorial Chapel, alongside her late husband. The Queen's parents, as well as the ashes of the Queen's sister, Princess Margaret, were also buried at the church. Prince Philip died aged 99 in April 2021. Buckingham Palace described the Queen's deep sorrow to announce the loss of her husband of more than 70 years. The palace said in a statement, it is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announces the death of her beloved husband. It added, the royal family join with people around the world in mourning his loss. The Duke of Edinburgh's funeral was limited to just 30 attendees, as it took place during coronavirus restrictions last year. His body was placed in the royal vault at St. George Chapel, but will now be moved to lie next to the Queen. On Monday, it is thought that King Charles will travel to Edinburgh as he embarks on a four-nation tour. He will visit Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland ahead of the Queen's funeral. The Queen's coffin will be accompanied through Edinburgh's Royal Mile by King Charles, Queen Consort Camilla and other royal family members. After resting briefly at St. Giles Cathedral, the coffin will be transferred from Edinburgh to Raff Northolt.